G'day Mick from Zegwell's Australia here today with Troy from Beard's Backyard. Hey. Now today we're going to cook a bowler roast. So this is directly from the shoulder, from the back of the shoulder I believe. Very muscly, comes with a lot of flavour though if you cook it properly. So this is going to be hopefully falling apart by the end of this. So this is well and truly trimmed. Did this last night or? Yes, last night. Very nice Good little job there. Hour of trimming with a bit of fun there, banging out some tunes and I was going to say, you need some music or some Netflix when you're doing that. Yeah, of course. So I've got a couple of rubs here. That, uh, these are favourites of yours? Or? Yeah, so this is from a local uh, guy that I'm sort of in, in business with yep. uh, by the name of Bulldozer Barbecue. So obviously the trimming's done. Yep. We're going to be rubbing this one in these two bad boys here and then chucking it on the Z-Grill. Yep. Uh, give that a few couple hours to smoke it up, cook it through a little bit. And then once we hit the stall period that anyone that's been in beef knows is around that 155 to 165 uh, Fahrenheit. Yep. We're going to pop it in a boat of some stock, yep. let it come through, and that'll get all the juices flowing and make sure that by the end of it, we can unwrap it and just pull it apart with our hands. Sounds good. Yeah. So in terms of the temp and time, um, we're looking at the smoke temperature on the grill. So that's smoke yep. setting for a couple of hours. Yep. So we'll be doing 275 Fahrenheit yep. after that, yep. um, and then just coast it through for the rest of the way. And hopefully, I mean, it can vary on the size of the cut, but yep. you know, we go for six, seven plus hours. All right. How about you start up the grill? Okay, I'll cool. get the rub going on this and we can meet in the middle. Too easy. Beautiful. All right, so this right here, I like to call the Spog, the SPOG. Nice little mix of just your basic salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Whereas the midnight at the end of it will give you a good little bit of bark. So um, I'll just coat this, not thoroughly, but enough so that you're covered. So these rubs look awesome, but if you don't have access to these, what kind of um, rub would you recommend for a piece of meat like this? If you want to go traditional, salt and pepper is a good way to go. Yep. Um, I find if you have a good coffee-based rub, a lot of people tend to enjoy that. And so just ground coffee? Yeah, ground coffee. It's in a little bit of this as well. Okay. Um, so if you just get a nice little mixer together, you find out your balances, yep. you can have some fun with that and it adds a nice little flavor profile. How many kilos is this? Um, I don't know, have a, have a hold. Guess for me. Oh, that's 3.82. All right, perfect. There we go. I don't know in pounds though. <laughs> Six something? Six <laughs> or seven? So where'd you get your beef from? Uh, that is from a local crew called Range Meats. Okay. Um, they're online only, so easy to, to order through. Yep. Uh, very quick delivery as well. Mm. I find that these guys tend to deliver to me straight away within the next day. Yep. Um, and you get good wholesale prices and nice real quality meat as well. Spog's all done, so yep. they'll just give us a nice bit of flavoring on top. The mix of especially the onion and the garlic in with the salt. Um, this will add a little extra touch as well, just from everything that's got involved. Yep. Um, but we're, I mean, color's going to be a key factor here. So nicely coated on here. But pink just hold that salt. thought. Hold oh. that thought. Hello. We've got some smoke. Yes. That's a good sign. Beautiful. When they call out smoke for this one, you know things are going well. Look Beautiful. At that. A little dusting for some fine measurements. Looks like we're up to temperature. So Love it. Uh, let's throw this in. Beautiful. It's so good having an assistant who can open the door for I know, you. this is very handy. Yeah, there you I go. I think I might hire you for other weekends. <laughs> We're back here after how many hours? Three hours in the smoker? Been, yeah, three and a half, four hours. I think it's time to have a beer. I like your idea. And I've got uh, oh, perfect the thing. Z Grills bottle opener. There you go, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's a good day for it. Fresh. Oh, yes. Talk to me about temperature and time we've done how okay. many hours in here so we're at three and a half to four hours i'm trying to remember what time it is but i'm struggling to but anyway the temp sitting currently at about 70 degrees celsius which Perfect. should be around that 160 fahrenheit, 160 degrees fahrenheit if i'm guessing so i've done a couple of checks i actually did spritz it a couple of times so just a bit Spritzing of water with just water just water i like to go a little classic okay. like that helps with the bark a little bit and keeps it moist you've so. answered the question i was going to ask why spritz so <laughs> bark. yeah Fantastic. absolutely does well let's um let's pull it across and uh, we'll boat it all righty now why the uh the black gloves i think they look cool okay <laughs> matches the outfit it does exactly you got to keep onto the style i can't get my bloody glove on <laughs> hang on hang on Okay, let's hold that out. Okay, there's an extra finger here. I swear, I've only started one beer. That's for the blooper reel. Right. Let's have a look. I want to see how this bark's coming along. Yeah, I'm excited for this. And we might get Justin to come in and take a close-up for us. Ooh. All right. Hey, Justin, you want to come and take a view of this, mate? <laughs> All right. Go for it. There's the beauty. Oh, looking lovely. You so, can see here that that bark is set fantastically from the midnight rub. We're going to get a lot of flavor underneath from the, the spog. That's come up nicely. Take that out. Look at that. Beautiful meat. All right, lovely. 74.2 and Fahrenheit 166. Question before we continue on. Yes. You talked about the stall. Yep. What does that mean? So that's effectively the point where the meat will temporarily pause cooking. Mm. 
and instead it's just going to try to sweat out all of the moisture that's inside of it. Okay, so, so the, the moisture is evaporating out of it, so it's not getting any hotter. Exactly, you'll find the piece of meat will also shrink as well. So this was effectively the size of pretty much the entire board at yep. the start. And if we didn't do the boating now, and if yep. we didn't wrap it, for example, it just takes a lot longer to cook, yeah? It takes a lot longer, um, and you're going to end up with a drier piece of meat too. Okay. So that's sort of the thing we're trying to avoid here. Yep. Um, the stall is going to happen no matter what with your piece of meat. With beef especially, you, you can't really tell 100% what's going to happen. Yep. But for this, it's handy to just make sure that we keep it moist so it does end up falling apart and tasting good. Makes sense. This beer was a good idea. Yeah, I know, right? Perfect for a day look. like this. What are we doing here? I need to remember math. So we want four cups per, per teaspoon. This is the part I should have paid attention to. When... You've got to ask the maths questions before I start drinking beer. <laughs> love it. I love your technique. We go the Australian way, right? That's the, the clockwise way. There you go. That's Magic. how the toilet rolls. And then, simple as can be. Yep. Try not to splash you. Yep. Submerge it. Do we need to cover this or just leave it? We just leave it as is, so oh. we can pop this back in the grill. There it is. Magic. All right, good work, mate. Let's have some fun. Cheers. Okay, we're back after a few hours. The uh, meat in the grill is nearly ready. So while we're waiting for that to be uh, perfectly done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, while he enjoys a beer, I'm going to chop up some onion you already and milk. Yeah, I've already started my beer. <laughs> You're allowed to have yours now. Oh, you've done, well, you, you've you snuck some... it in, yeah, so. <laughs> you've done some work. Chop up some veggies. Uh, We're going to make some um, some salsa yeah. to go with the tacos. We've got some grated cheese, um, some spicy salsa, and also some sour cream. Now, Very... I've done this before, which is often the case with my cooking skills, so uh, no laughing. So we put this on fast forward, so it looks like I'm a really fast cutter. <laughs> yeah. That's what I reckon I'll We're, do. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that is that. a very finely sharpened knife as well. It is. This is one of our chef's knives from the Zeg Grills. <laughs> Artisan knife bundle. Yeah. They are very sharp. Um, we've had a few people have had to go to hospital after using their uh, their Artisan knife bundle knives. Okay. No, seriously. Just from pure shock of how great they are or other reasons? <laughs> they couldn't handle just how sharp it was. No. I didn't know I could go that sharp, man. <laughs> Yeah. No, because they uh, they slice their fingers. All right, we'll do some quarters. Okay. We'll do some sixteenths as well if we want to get real funky. Oof. No, you're just getting too mathematical. Yeah. I feel under a little bit of pressure with you beside me though, watching my technique. Because you've done a lot more poly cooking than I have. In terms of like day-to-day -day cooking, it's normally the missus who does most of the cooking, which is pretty awesome food. Oh, no doubt about that. I wouldn't be surprised. You look like a well-nourished man. <laughs> <laughs> a healthy, well-nourished man. There's, well there's nothing nourished. wrong with that. <laughs> what do you want to say? How are we going to cut these? Oh, all right. Well, I like that way. Fine, Let's go. Fine, fine strips. No, I think you need some little chunks. Okay. So I reckon. This is this is go why, down the middle. This is why it's good to have you beside me to provide <laughs> this this guidance. So the thing with these it's knives is set. there's different grades of stainless steel you can use for a knife. Yeah. So when I was putting these together, I looked at the different grades. So we've got this is X50 CRMOV15. That's a good one. It is a good one, isn't it? I love that. There's those. actually different names for that that grade of stainless steel, but that's the coolest version of the name. The other oh, name yeah. was a bit more boring, but that one sounds pretty pretty high tech. What's this one called? Cilantro. What's it? It's also got another name though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, coriander or, coriander or cilantro. cilantro if you're a an American an American fella. Just that nice. much in there because I feel like your ratios are a little bit off the wonk, but sweet. What well, do you mean? Just, not enough cilantro or too much? I, well, no, the cilantro is not really as much of a problem, but that, that little amount of onion on the bottom there. Too much and enough. I was quite confident until you started making comments about the ratios. No, come on now. I'm just Jeez. making sure that everything's under wraps. Now, limes. Oh, yes. These are going to be squeezed in the mix. What do you reckon? Lovely. Now, I can I just show you a trick? I love oh, to yeah. do this. I love if tricks. you roll it, yeah. do you know this one? Guess the juice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you knew this one. I thought you were going to be surprised <laughs> that's, by my. That's many Corona beers influence of ah, knowing tricks. There you go. Speaking so. of which, why don't we lime the beers? <laughs> oh, you, you have permission to this touch is, my knife. Okay. Oh, I feel pretty. Oh, that's a nice, yeah, nice it's, feeling it's knife. It's well weighted, isn't it? Yeah. Jam it in, man. Jam it. Jam it. Oh. Come on, don't be shy. Squirt your juices everywhere. There we go. Oh. I think that's enough BS for now. Enough of a mess. Um, time to get the meat. Yeah. yeah. Adam, we'll, uh, I'll let you with your fancy tools. Oh. Pull it. So the meat's up to 100 degrees C, 212 degrees F. So well and truly, actually probably left it a little bit longer than we should because I was nah. cutting up. I was taking too long with the salad. But no, nah, look. In all honesty, there's there's a lot of people that like to say they go for the 205 range, but yeah. if you want it that real special kind of meat, you take it that little bit further. Well, we'll see what happens. That's the that's the beard's backyard Let's grab trick. It out. Alrighty. Oh, done like a pro. Oh, I've done that a couple of times. Wow. That looks like a volcanic rock. It looks like it's going to break my teeth when I try and eat it, though. It looks rock hard. 90, well, 99, yeah, 100 degrees C, so that's, that's beautiful, but it's so tender. Like that, I'm using, I can almost use one, 
One finger? Yeah. I can't hold it with one finger, two fingers. Hey, you can give it a go. That is so tender. That's though. what the loophole's for. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna back away. Okay. I'm gonna let you because that looks like something like, you attack nice. me with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nicely slides in. I don't need to do it, but it's just good fun to play around with and you, you know got a, you got a boys toy. and their toys. You yeah. Play with it. Exactly. Just that alone. It's falling apart. Oh, look at the color. Does not need anything at all. You've got a bit of a smoke ring. I haven't even taken it fully, but I mean, you just want to take some of that off. Can look I just, at that. Can I Go for it. it. Please, be my guest. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. I'm I like the look on your face. Tacos. All right, well, then let's just have some fun. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it out of here. Get it out of there. Look get it in ya, at this. As Russell Stevens would say. Oh, yes. I am bloody hungry. I don't know about you. I've fasted all day. Oh, well, this, yeah. I mean, good sir. Why don't we get some tacos? Awesome, let's do it. Incoming. Just nice little bit of separation here. Yes. Good separation yeah. skills, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. Who knows? Hello, ladies. <laughs> come and check it out. <laughs> We've got yumminess on the table. Time has come to give this delicious bowl of roast, slow cooked on the Z grill. Oh, yeah. A taste test. Absolutely. So, tacos or wraps? I reckon we go the wraps. Wraps are good. Don't, uh, don't break apart when you eat them. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be generous with the, with the oh. meat serving, if that's okay. You happy would, with that? I, I'm happy with that. I don't think any future catering business you might have would last long. But now, quality service. Do you want to complain about the, the amount of onion now? You've got two different types of salsas there. That's uh, well, well this, this one is, is just kind of the veggies. to give you some True. vitamins and minerals. And yeah. this is for the flavor. Yeah, I'm nice. Gonna, generous sprinkling of cheese on top as well. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. See, see how we're doing it for the camera? Yes. So you're going to drop it from a height. Okay. Now, I don't want to see any wastage at all, please. I already dropped a bit of cheese, watch. so nicely tucked. Yep. Go for it. What do you reckon? I'm in heaven. You're in heaven? I'm in, I'm in heaven, mate. Because we're doing this You're together. the most angelic looking bald man I've ever seen. <laughs> I've got a nice shaped head for a bald man. <laughs> yeah, very I was told much that, I was told that once on a subway in New York, and it's a, the <laughs> nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> well, it, was from, it wasn't from a young lady. It was about a 55-year-old lady, but yeah, I still hey, took the compliment. You know what? Experience over age. <laughs> They're the ones that know what's going on. <laughs> it, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it with the one-handed, so I'm impressed with that already. But oh. yes, bum in. All right. And then a little, you try to fold your... Your little flaps in. See, see the stance. I uh, yeah, I do. You got to have what? You got to have good balance when you do this. Okay. And you got to have the elbows in. All okay? right. See, so see, this is all so, te a technique. Yeah. I mean, all this right. is all right. So your yoga instructor here. Mm. Those elbows are not in. Come on now. Mm. Yeah. It's a balance of flavors. See. So bowl of beef roast. Give it a try. Good salsa mix. Some veggies. Some cheese. Some onion. But. That's amazing, and uh, we're gonna enjoy this right now. Mm -hmm. Cheers. There you go. Thanks, mate. Off up. Take. So off up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 80 degrees C, um, which is what in Fahrenheit? That is <laughs> nearly 180. 180. <laughs> well, then throw the. Uh, Throw the meat in, and uh, we'll be good to go. Temperature guide. Yeah, it's helpful. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, mate. Pleasure. Thank you for coming on. Good man. This is your your channel, but anyway. <laughs>